Hi, and welcome to this video on how to synchronize Nodal to Ableton Live. I'll be working with Live, but basically the way that I set things up can apply to any DAW or digital audio workstation that you happen to be working with. So the first thing I need to do is make sure I'm running both Live and Nodal. And I'm going to start with Nodal. So what I need to do is connect the two applications together via some virtual MIDI ports. And these have already been set up automatically by Nodal. So I go into the Document tab in Nodal. Uh, and here I can see a list of available MIDI ports for both synchronization input or synchronization output. Now Nodal will always create two ports of its own, one called Nodal Input, which is for any incoming MIDI information that Nodal should receive, and another called Nodal Output, which is where Nodal can send its MIDI information. Now a typical use that you probably want is where you use Live to drive Nodal, so that when you press play or stop in Live, Nodal will correspondingly play and stop, and if you change the tempo in Live, Nodal will change its tempo too and maintain synchronization. So in order to do that, I just need to set a synchronization input because Nodal is going to be receiving synchronization information. And I just click on the Nodal input port. So make sure that that checkbox is selected Nodal input under sync inputs. Okay, let's go to live now and set that up as well. So in order to do that, I need to go to the live menu and select the preferences dialog. And I need to go down to the third tab labeled MIDI sync just click on that. Now here again you'll see a list of available MIDI ports and these will change depending on the kind of setup that you've got but you should always see nodal output and nodal input listed there amongst the input and output point ports. So um, within this dialog box there's three columns of information track, sync and remote. Now remember that we're interested in synchronizing nodal to live and we want live to be the master and nodal to slave from that. So in order to do that, it's very easy. Remember that I selected Sync Input on the Nodal Input port. I just need to select the Sync tab and turn that on in Live. So make sure that Sync is on uh, for Nodal Input. Okay, one other thing I need to do too is for Live to receive MIDI information from Nodal, I need to make uh, it aware of output that's coming from Nodal Output. And so I go into the Track column and turn that on for Nodal Output. Okay, and that should be all that I need to do in order to have the two programs talk to each other and maintain synchronization. Let me just quickly explain what I've got set up here in live already. I basically just got two um, MIDI instruments set on the first two channels. One's an analog synth, an analog bass synth, and the second one is um, a drum rack. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just hit play and we should hear that Nodal uh, starts playing and it's going to be sending MIDI information and driving live and I'll change the tempo as well and you should notice that the tempo changes as I change live's tempo, Nodal's tempo will change as well. Okay, so let's hit play. Okay, you should have noticed there that uh, when I pressed play, obviously sound started coming out. That was coming from Nodal, and when I changed the tempo, Nodal's tempo changed correctly. I could have also hit record, either in session or arrangement view, to record the incoming MIDI information into the appropriate channels. Okay, there's one final thing that I wanted to show, and that's how to set up different MIDI channels to different instruments, which is what I've already done here. Let me go back to Nodal first and explain the setup that I've got here. I've just got two simple sequences, one for the drums and one for the bass. And the drums are in green and, and the bass is in orange. I'll just go into the Instrument tab to show you how I've set that up. I've got two instruments, one called Bass Synth and the other called Microtonic. And Bass Synth is, has its um, output port set to Nodal Output because remember that's where Live's getting its MIDI information, Channel 1. Microtonic is set to Nodal Output, Channel 2. So each of these instruments is transmitting on a different channel but the same MIDI port called Nodal Output. Okay, let's go back to Live now and look at how I've set that up. One thing that you need to do to make it clear on um, how, how to set up these channels is to go into the View menu and select In Out. So to make sure that input and output is displayed. 
So you can see here for these first two channels that it says MIDI from nodal output. I can select from all the available MIDI ports that are there. I've selected nodal output and channel one. I've also selected MIDI from nodal output channel two for the second channel. And of course, if I want to add extra instruments, extra MIDI instruments, I could select nodal output channel three, four, five, six, and so on. Uh, and basically that's all I need to do. And I can use uh, nodal to drive live uh, from uh, its transport controls and I can also use it to record the MIDI information from Nodal and then go and edit that later in live if I want to. Okay, thanks for watching.